Uh, hey, welcome to Gameplay Codex. We've got a big update. We've hit uh, version 1.5. Uh, everything is now Foundry 13. Uh, App V2, uh, nothing depreciated, uh, all running the latest version. Uh, so let's jump on into group sheets. They've had a bit of a facelift. We've got uh, tabs down the side now for the main navigation. Uh, and you know, again, you got your regions, locations, uh, inventory, NPCs, which you can filter. Uh, then you got quests, uh, which is quite cool. You can change all the status of the quests uh, from within group sheets. Uh, you don't need to click through to the sheet to do that anymore. Uh, you've got the linked journals uh, and they've got widgets, which we'll cover in a minute. Uh, and then we've also got uh, the normal sheets down the side. You can click on and um, get into all the information from that linked sheet. Uh, you can also filter the sidebar further. So you've got tags, inventory, NPCs. So you can um, choose uh, what you see in that sidebar and you can filter it down uh, quite far. You can also jump in and see the normal tag view. Uh, and then these items on the side can be drag and dropped as per kind of normal uh, journal entries so you can make uh, map notes or you can link it off to another journal as you normally would uh, we will jump on over to uh, the table of contents uh, so this one uh, I've added a shortcut key so you can assign that in the settings to however you like uh, and then these are kind of normal uh, but we've added a little bit of um, UI improvement so these will replicate uh, these subfolders from the sidebar. So uh, if you've got these organized out, they will come through um, into the table of contents for that little bit of uh, ease of use. And the tags have had a little bit of update. So now you've got the list of tags down the side. And if you click on that, you can see the um, sheets which have the tags. There is also uh, a command you can use to open uh, the table of contents and you can feed it in a string and it will open it to that tab so if you've got an active tile or you've got um, a little macro and you want it to be able to open up uh, the table of contents to a specific tab you are able to do that so let's jump on to um, regions uh, and normal or we'll jump onto normal sheets i guess and we'll open up a region one uh, so these have also had a little bit of a change. Uh, so you can now uh, edit the subtitle and you can change the uh, default icon type. Uh, so this is a, a region, so it's normally this globe, but we can change it out to uh, whatever icon we want. Uh, we can also uh, remove uh, tabs per sheet so if we don't want entries or inventory showing up we can we'll say inventory uh, we can save that and then inventory kind of disappears uh, if we want to show it back up we can click that inventory will appear um, we can remove the sidebar image if we want and if we want to make that change to like uh, all sheets of that type so say we don't want NPCs to have journals we can uncheck that and NPC sheets won't show journals anymore um, but you will also notice on all the sheets, uh, every sheet type now has an inventory uh, and it's got this little held currency thing and it can be toggled between loop mode or not. Uh, and then the big new thing on the sheets is this little widgets tab. So uh, this widget tab uh, will show uh, widgets and to add one to the sheets, you've got this little uh, thing in the sidebar you can see the available widgets here. So these kind of grayed out ones with the plus are available to be added. So you can like click on that to add a, um, a widget. And so this one here is the network graph, which kind of pulls in all the link sheets to make this little graph. You can change the depth. Uh, you can double click to say recenter where that graph is generated from. Uh, you could like right click on one to open it up. Uh, and then if you don't want that widget on your sheet anymore for some reason, you can click the X and it will remove it. But it still saves the data on the sheet. Uh, if you want to remove the data entirely, you can hit this little trash can and delete the data from the sheet. Uh, we've also got this little organization chart. Uh, and this organization chart here pulls in from uh, the linked NPCs 
uh, which are direct links, and then also the entry NPCs. So this one here, we've got a couple of um, direct NPCs, and then we've got like this um, NPC, which has been bought through an entry. Uh, so if we jumped onto widgets, you can see we've got uh, these here, and we can then say, um, if you drag and drop these around, to however you want, uh, and then you can say uh, right click if you don't want that there anymore, uh, to remove it. Um, and then we also have um, a world map. So that can be created by, uh, say, if you choose a world, uh, choose an image to have a map. Uh, you can like add a pin, uh, right click on the pin, change the uh, icon type, put in uh, a description or whatever uh, you can also drag and drop um, journals on as well uh, which click and open those journals uh, you can also edit those pins as well uh, so very uh, handy uh, there's uh, so many other changes which are going to happen in the back end and um, I've probably missed a few things um, one last thing before I sign off is uh, map markers, uh, which is one of the big changes as well. Uh, when you drag a journal to a, a map, it creates a map marker, but if it's a campaign codex one, it will create uh, this custom marker if your journal name has got a specific pattern, which is uh, an optional character up to three digits and then another uh, character followed by space or a colon or a dash. So here we've got A3, but A123 would work. And this will dynamically change when you change your character, uh, when you change your sheet name. So 123A will work, uh, A123A would work, uh, and so would like one, two, uh, well, so would one actually. Uh, so they will uh, auto-generate if your sheet has a specific pattern. Um, Big, big thanks to everyone who's been on Discord to give feedback uh, and suggestions and um, make sure to jump onto the documentation site. Uh, if you jump onto widgets, we've got like a little bit uh, of an overview of the available widgets. Uh, we've got a widgets directory, which have um, some third party widgets. Uh, and if you want to create a widget, there's a little bit of documentation there on how to do that as well. Uh, and these ones are just little manifests. You, the third party ones you install as a separate module and they will appear um, in this widget list that you can just click and um, add to the sheet uh, as well. Uh, but yeah, jump on uh, Patreon uh, and Discord. Uh, kind of give me your suggestions, feedback. Um, I love hearing from you. So thanks. <laughs>